Okay, so this is the record for Essex Accountants. And it's laid out very well on this screen. There's like a history, an activity history. It's created by myself, the date and time that I did that. You have money over the last 12 months here. And there are other useful things that I'll give you time to look at. We have the postal address that we entered. Attention, David Wood, and the address, the street address, the same. This is the information we entered. You can go to their website with this link. You can display their phone numbers, their email address, the contact person, and the account number. This is all information that we entered onto Xero. So how do you edit their account? Say David Wood left, and now Collingwood is in charge or perhaps you have another mobile number or another email address to add to the account all you need to do is go to this edit button at the top here click edit and we're back at Essex accounts contact information the same as before when we created the contact and all you need to do is is change the details so let's put this to Collinwood and the email address has also changed to Colin at EssexAccounts.com once we're happy with the edited record click Save okay we have this confirmation again Essex Accountants has been saved and you'll see that to the right here we now have Colin Wood as the contact person and we have his email address so it's all very straightforward what you need to do is then just add another contact and add a contact for each of your customers and you'll need to do the same for suppliers but I'll come to that in a later video so now that we have Essex accountants on Xero, we now need to know how to invoice Essex accountants, and I'll cover that in the next video. Thank you for watching.